meteorologist Taylor Knust with your local 5 weather lab. So has this ever happened to you? You check your We Are Iowa app and the radar shows rain or snow. But when you look outside the window, it's completely dry. This exact situation actually happened on November 1st in southern Iowa. The radar looked busy, but no precipitation was reported. So what's going on here? Uh, radar is a terrific tool to track precipitation, but occasionally it can be misleading. And one of the main culprits for these errors is something called Virga, or precipitation that evaporates before reaching the ground due to a layer of dry air in the lower atmosphere. Due to the curvature of the Earth, the farther away the radar beam gets from the radar, the higher up in the atmosphere it scans. In fact, precipitation scanned 100 miles away from a radar is located about 8,000 to 10,000 feet above the ground. When that precipitation is actually Virga, the result is a radar map that doesn't paint a completely accurate picture. Now this is most common in the winter months when the air is typically a little bit drier and, and often much drier than it is in the summer months. Another common radar air is called ground clutter and in most cases in the atmosphere, the temperature gets lower the higher up in the atmosphere you go, but sometimes it will actually warm with height just above the surface, creating what we call a temperature inversion. When these inversions develop, the air density gets greater than normal and that causes the radar beam to actually bend back down toward the Earth's surface and scan things like like wind farms and occasionally even the ground itself. The result is a radar map that shows fairly widespread precipitation. There are several other possible radar errors, but they are a little bit less common than the two I just mentioned. So the next time you see rain or snow on your app, it might be a good idea to take a peek outside or just get the answers straight from the local five weather team. With your weather lab, I'm meteorologist Taylor Knust.